leg and we got five wins out of five, I believe, in pre-season. So it's a good way to uh, prepare for the new season. Yeah, definitely. I think, obviously, pre-season, you don't want to focus too much on the results. It's more about getting minutes and just getting to know how different players play. But, you know, when you win five out of five, it definitely gives you confidence going into into the first game this week. It's good saying it's not about results, but it's always good, it's to, always it's about always good to win games. No one likes losing, no. <laughs> no, you know, you lost five out of five wouldn't have been the greatest. No, no. Be no. Um, there's been nine new signings over the summer. From the outside, it looks like it's you know, Everton are moving forward, the ambitions. Did you feel that as players with, when you see nine new signings coming? Or yeah, I do? think um, obviously making new signings, we only want to get better. I think since we've stated what we want to do this season and that's win, whatever that is, whether that's the league, getting into Champions League, FA Cup, we've stated that. So I think the players that we've signed can help us towards that and I think it's a big statement from the club. You brought Tony Duggan's come back and Hannah Benison's come in and people like that. Do you think their experience can help the squad as a whole in, in achieving what, what ultimately the goal is? Yeah, definitely. I think probably one thing we've lacked over the last couple of years is you know that, that experience, that knowing how to win, we're a really young squad, and we still are now, but like you say, we've brought in people who've won um, medals and, and have won leagues, etc, etc, and that's what we need if we want to push forward. I just mentioned the ambition there, because you know, obviously Evertonians and you're looking out, the club is moving forward, and obviously the Everton women, it's really caught fire, I think, over the last year or so, it, it seems to be everything pushing forward to trying to get the club up towards the top. So do you feel that as players? Do you feel that ambition from within? Or are you just focusing on you know, the job in hand and, and trying to win as many football matches as possible? Yeah, well, I feel like we've got a lot of things from the club over the past few years in terms of like we'll probably have one of the best training facilities we train where the men do. We're playing in our first game at Goodison, so I feel like the club are pushing with us um, and I think it's our time now to go out and show what we can do on the pitch and forget about everything off really because if you're not performing on then it doesn't really matter. Has that been Willie Kirk's message this summer is just you know let's let's gel together and th how difficult sorry this is another bit of the question but with nine new signings coming in how how they how they fitted in because that's almost a new team coming in as well so have they integrated well into the group? Yeah definitely you know it's it's a lot of new signings but I think part of Willie's recruitment is that he always brings in people who are who are really good people as well and so they're all lovely girls and then we had the week last week in Scotland which was really good to get away and I think that definitely brought us a lot closer as a team as well and yeah I feel like we've gelled really well off the pitch and on the pitch things have looked very very good as well. Brilliant. Last season finished fifth. What is the aim this season? Is it to get better? Is it to get into that top three? Is that is that an internal ambition? Are you going to go public and state that or, is, or, or what? Yeah, I feel like you play football to win. Um, there's no point in us going out saying, yeah, we want to finish fifth because it's not good enough at the end of the day. Whatever fifth gets is what fourth gets. Whatever fourth gets, eighth gets. So we want to get the Champions League places. Excellent. And there's obviously a very tough way to start. Here it goes. We've got Manchester City, but it is here, which is a great place to play football. So do you think that's a good test for where the squad is as well? And is it a good time maybe to play the Champions Day one while everyone's level? Yeah, I think so. I think that, you know, Willie said this week, whatever happens on Saturday won't define our season, but I, I think it'll be a really good test to see where we're at. And yeah, I think it's a, it is a good time, you know, first game of the season to play them. And ultimately, if we want to get to where Gabs has just said, Champions League, we have to start beating these teams. And yeah, there's no better, better place to do that than here, so. It's, I mean, it's exciting, isn't it, being in here? It's You're feeling that building now and obviously, you know, it's great to see fans getting back in stadiums as well. So you, are you looking forward to getting out there on Saturday and performing? Yeah, I can't wait to come back and hopefully have the stadium full with a lot of Evertonians um, cheering us on. I think, obviously, playing, you need the 12th man and that's our fans. So we need to get as many as we can here and cheer us on and hopefully we can get the win because, obviously, to be the best, you've got to beat the best and that's what we want to start our season with. The women's game certainly does feel like it's going from strength to strength and more games in places like this. We've seen it at other clubs as well, at stadiums. I mean, that's what we want to see, isn't it? And more coverage and, and getting people in the ground to watch it as well. So, yeah. you know, these kind of games give people the opportunity to do that, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. I think the new TV deal, you know, BBC and Sky Sports covering our games, it's, it shows how the women's game's developing. But, 
you know, the fact that it's the Men's International Week this week, I think it's such a good opportunity to get people who, who may have never watched women's football before, they may have never watched Everton women, I think it's a really good opportunity for them to come along and, and see what we're like and hopefully we'll gain some new fans from it as well. Well, I'm going to give you both the opportunity to tell all those fans <laughs> of Everton that we can do, because the men aren't playing and they might be sitting there thinking, what shall I do? Swerve the cricket or whatever else is on the telly. <laughs> Why should they come down to Goodison and get behind the team at the weekend. So, Gabby, go on, you first. Yeah, great, you go first. Tell them why they should be coming to watch at the weekend. If you want to watch some exciting front foot football, come and watch Everton Women. <laughs> <laughs> I can't beat that, you know. What's your message, thank you? Be a bit more straight-laced, go on. Just, if you're a blue, you're a blue. Get down. Support the Blues, simple as that, really. We want to bring silverware back to this club, so you've got to support us on our journey to do so. I mean, that's I mean, they're brilliant messages. And one other thing as well is that a lot of clubs have, have when they played at their stadiums, have had a lot of fans in the ground. And us as Evertonians, we do like to stick our chest out and think we're better than everyone else. So that's a, got to be another reason to come down and yeah. try and fill the stadium as much as possible, surely. 100%, yeah. We believe we've got the best fans, but they need to come and show us that they're the best <laughs> fans. <laughs> what a way to finish, girls. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the best for the season. Cheers. Cheers. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Sarah Halpin ahead of Everton versus Manchester City. Women's Premier League kicking off at the weekend. But Sarah, before we get into that, pre-season is done now for, uh, for the Everton women. And you've seen a few of the games. And how have they been faring in pre-season? Oh, it's been amazing, Baz, to be honest. Literally got back uh, from Edinburgh with the team on Sunday after six days away there with them. We finished the week off with a game against Hibs, which they won 2-0 to make that five wins out of five in pre-season, you know, which is fantastic, isn't it? Full of confidence and the players that we've seen come in, so many new signings and, you know, top, top class signings. We just, you know, broke the, our record transfer fee for Hannah Benison, who's probably the most sought after young talent in the women's game. Uh, as well as two other Swedish internationals just come back with silver from Tokyo. Uh, Tony Duggan's back. The list goes on. I, I could name check every single player we've got in that squad now because what a squad we've got. I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing genuinely. I can't wait for the season to start. It is looking exciting from the, you know, when you're looking at it and maybe from the outside a little bit and, and people seeing that Everton are moving forward and these new signings coming in. Exciting times, isn't it, for, the, for Everton women? Oh, it is. You know, you know yourself, Baz, I started working in with the team. This is my fourth, I think, fourth season uh, working with Everton Women now. And when I came in, it, it, it was clear to see the, the growth that's been made in those few years. You know, we were sort of losing most weeks. We were struggling. It wasn't that we didn't have a good team, but it just wasn't quite clicking. Obviously, um, Willie Kirk come in, Chris Roberts and, and new members of staff, coaching staff and so many new players, there's been a big turnover of players leaving and, and new players coming in. But I think every transfer window that we see, that's, that quality um, is improving. And it's so competitive as well. You know, literally now we have every single position on the pitch there's competition for. And Willie Kirk recently has said there's, there's no set 11 picks for Saturday. You know, you don't know. It's, it's that competitive. You couldn't pick the 11. So, um, yeah, it's, it makes for such exciting times. And the Sky deal, you know, BBC One. I've seen the advert now as well. It's, it's just going to be everywhere. I think the visibility of women's football has been a problem in terms of getting supporters on board. But it's visible. It's going to be there for everyone to see. And hopefully that means that people are going to get on board. And we're Everton, aren't we? Like, get everyone, get everyone down to, to support the girls. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is. You're right. It's all of that stuff. Tony Duggan, I think, a lot oh. of Evertonians remember from last time she was here. And we know that she went off and done great things as well. And... I think a lot of people were like, oh, she's back, and that yeah. gives her a bit of a profile. And like you just said, Hannah Benison's another one that's caught the imagination. So Willie Kirk, it's been an upward trajectory, I think, since he came in as well. So it is exciting going into it. Uh, it's a tough game at the weekend. Manchester City, very, very good side. Um, but it is a good lesson. But in some respects, sometimes it's good to start off with a marker like this because you, you know what you're up against. There are a good side, but... Great place to play football and a, and a great opportunity to, to stick one on the Mary Dawes, isn't it? It is, you know, exactly that, Baz. I think if you could pick a, a team to play, it's a fantastic way to gauge where the squad of players mm. is at. Manchester mm. City, obviously, fantastic side. And, you know, they beat us in the FA Cup final last year. Mm. Um, and it would be 
brilliant to be able to kind of get one over on them for that one. Uh, and I think, you know, we can do it. I'm yet to see us win uh, in my time with the club. I'm yet to see us win against Manchester City. So it's always like that's, first, there's always a first time. And I genuinely feel that th this is as good of a chance as we're going to get. They played last night in the Champions League against Real Madrid and they, they've looked better, to be honest. Um, and from I can only go off what I can see from our team. And we look up and at it and ready to go. Um, I think if we can get this place rocking and, and get behind the girls. I was just watching you interview uh, Gabby and Meg there. And Gabby said, you know, t the 12th man. And that's what we need. That's what we need on Saturday from, from the fans. And I harp on to the girls all the time about, you know, I, in, in the group, I am the Evertonian that knows everything, mad blue, mad Evertonian, and I'm always saying how boss our fans are and how special this place is and stuff. And I want to leave on Saturday with them going, God, sir, I yeah, them fans are amazing. I don't want to leave and think, oh, it's been a bit underwhelming. I want them to come here. And when they hear that siren to the start of Z cars and that, that roar, I want them to, to feel that. And a few of the girls come to the Southampton game, the men's game, we had... Poppy, Tony, Valerie Govan, Kenza, Nico, uh, Rika, a lot of the new signings came, Izzy Christensen as well, were here and they just love being here, taking in that um, atmosphere. Mm. And I want them to have something similar, you know, I want them to, to really feel that love from the crowd and what this club's all about. Because we've had a couple of occasions in the past before the pandemic and stuff where you're getting ready to play and the game is called off the oh. weather and things. So there's been, it's felt like a bit of momentum was building and then something coming took it away and stuff and now after we're coming out of that and we're able to come back into the stadium it's a great opportunity this weekend there's international football which is rubbish let's be honest it's a bit rubbish isn't it um, and so it's a great opportunity for people who have maybe got not much to do this weekend want to go to a game bring your kids along and we always go on about we're the best supporters yeah. let's try to get people in the stadium and, and make some noise and We've got Shout it. The girls, huh? We've got to, you know, like you look at the London uh, derby, the North London derby at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, sold out, packed out. I don't want to see Goodison with so many empty seats and just a, f a few thousand people here. I want it to be, you know, rocking. As you said, it's an international break. People haven't been able to get into Goodison Park for 18 months plus. Mm. We're on a limited number of times we're even going to be able to experience this beautiful place with, you know, Bramley Moor Dock on the horizon. We're not going to be able to come to this place forever. I think people feel like we are. We're not. Get yourselves here. Back the girls. Saturday, perfect. You know what I mean? Get this place rocking. We're Everton, and I think, you know, let's let's really show that we are an all-club, one-club um, mm. mentality. You know, we all train under one roof at Finch Farm. Um, I saw the girls play here and beat Chelsea last season, and they were fantastic, yeah. and that was without fans. Yeah, yeah. So I know how much it meant to them. I was talking to them at a stadium tour today, and, you know, talking to Izzy about how much she loves this stadium, the history of it, that it's 130 years old, mm. and the wooden seats, and... She feels, you know, they feel very privileged to, to play on this turf and I just want them to have the full experience and, and that means having, you know, the 12th man of, of, of thousands of angry Ever Evertonians. <laughs> giving it, giving it, giving it limbs, giving it loads. Like, oh, God, exactly. And <laughs> I think that, I think you'd make a good point there is that we are seeing, obviously you talked about the TV deal before, we are seeing more and more coverage now, which is fantastic. It's on our telly, you know, we're seeing the FA Cup final, even though we lost the a lot of people that you know were watching that one and talking about that one. So you, the more that we can demonstrate that we there is an interest in it and people mm -hmm. do want to come and watch it, then the more the game will grow, the more that will kick on the team. And, and it, listen, rise and seas are good for everyone. If the women's team's doing well, hopefully that can feed in and the men's team can do well and then the whole club can do well. So it is a great opportunity, isn't it? So go mm -hmm. on, give them one more rally call to get here for Saturday. If you haven't already booked your tickets for Goodison Park this Saturday, then make sure you do it. For season ticket holders, it's only four quid. You know, it's a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. It is literally a cup of coffee. And what an incredible opportunity to come and spend a few hours in this beautiful stadium. I think also, you know, women's football is going to be massive over the next few years. Mm -hmm. Some people will hate that fact, but like it all over it, it's going to be getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. So start your journey here at Goodison Park. Get down, get down yeah, to go. <laughs> I'm going for it here. I'm telling you, give it, give, giving it for my life. But, you know, I think a lot of people that come here on Saturday and watch the girls play, of course, then we now have the girls' own 
facility, own stadium, oh, Walton Hall Park, L4 in the heart of where we are. This is Everton, you know, L4. And I think people that come on Saturday, bring their kids, whatever, come and watch the game, will we'll hopefully fall in love with this team and, and think, yeah, we're going to keep backing them throughout the season. Games at Walton Hall Park, perfect. So you don't want to miss it. It's such a good opportunity, honestly. And I promise you will love it. And um, I want these girls to come away feeling, feeling the love. So... Make sure you get down. We're Everton, aren't we? So, yeah, yeah. get off your arses, book your tickets, get there. <laughs> what she said. I can't really follow that. So, there you go. Make sure you get down to Goodison this weekend. Bring your kids, bring your girlfriend, your wife, whatever, whoever it is. All of you. Friend, all of you. Get down, support the girls, and hopefully we'll support Everton beating Manchester City. Uh, big thanks to Sarah for joining us. See you later.